Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Steflick with Coastal Integrative Healthcare. A common question we get in the clinic is, what causes sciatica? So there are multiple different causes or potential causes of sciatica. Your sciatic nerve is about as big as your pinky and it runs all the way from your low back in the L4, L5 area and it goes all the way down the leg down to your toe. Now this nerve, when it's pinched or or being impeded some way is called sciatica. It can be pinched or impeded several different areas along that route down to your foot. So the first area where it can be pinched is in the low back. This can happen because of degeneration in the spine where the discs, which are your shock absorbers in your spine, they start to wear out. So as they get thinner and thinner, there's less space for the nerves to come out. If they run out of space or if they completely go away, those nerves can be pinched. You can have pain running down both legs and not just one side or the other. The other thing that could happen with that vertebrae is if it's misaligned or there's an accident and lots of inflammation in that area, it can also cause pain that runs down the leg. So it can come from degeneration in the spine, a disc herniation in the spine, lots of conditions in the spine that could cause sciatica down the leg. The other area where sciatic nerve problems can come from is called your piriformis muscle. Some of you may have heard of this term before. The piriformis is a muscle that goes from your hip to your tailbone, also known as the sacrum. So that muscle connects those two bones and helps with turning your foot in and out. Now, this muscle can go into spasm for various reasons. A lot of times it starts to spasm because it's trying to compensate for other weak muscles surrounding it. So if the muscles have become weakened due to lack of use in in the butt area, then that muscle starts to tighten up. And when that muscle tightens up, the sciatic nerve passes either directly below it or sometimes directly through that muscle. So as that muscle gets into spasm, it can pinch the sciatic nerve right in that spot, cause pain all the way down the leg. Sciatic nerve pain can be completely debilitating to the point to where somebody can't walk, they can't think, they can't concentrate. Um, It can be very, very painful and stop a person from doing all their activities at work, home, school, whatever it might be. When someone comes into us and they tell us that they have sciatica, we're going to do a very thorough exam and diagnostic test to find out what's causing it. We can't treat somebody or tell them we can fix their problem until we know where that pain is coming from. So we're going to run them through a bunch of tests and figure out what's causing it. Once we know what is causing it, we can offer appropriate recommendations for that person. So some recommendations might include physical therapy to stretch that muscle and strengthen the ones around it. Um, Other recommendations might include a trigger point injection right into that muscle to get it to relax. That will provide some more immediate relief. We also probably might recommend decompression for the spine. As we separate those discs and those vertebrae and open that area up, It's going to take pressure off of the nerve and the patient will feel a lot better. It's going to hydrate those discs. We're also going to probably recommend chiropractic adjustments to make sure that those bones and those joints are moving properly and freely like they should. There's a lot of other treatments we can do. Cold laser, Graston, ultrasound, muscle therapies, massage, other types of injections. But we don't know what's going to be best for a patient until we're able to properly evaluate them and give them those recommendations. Uh, If you found this useful or you enjoyed it, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.